Hello and welcome to the Open SAP course SAP Focused Run Operations of Hybrid Landscapes, Week 1, Unit 6, Job and Automation Monitoring. My name is Stefan La and I'm a solution expert. From the agenda perspective, I would like in this, to speak in this unit about the application purpose, the application features. I would like to show you how to use the application and this I would also like to show in a live demo and then in a kind of summary speak about the application benefits. With job and automation monitoring, you can monitor on-premise SAP ABAP jobs and SAP BW process chains. You can also monitor cloud jobs like SAP S4HANA application jobs and SAP Intelligent RPA jobs. Further job types are planned to be supported in the future, like ABAP uh, business workflow, I can tell you already, SAP Java jobs are planned as well as SAP PI BPM workflow executions. Job and automation monitoring offers alerting for different job execution related exceptions. We also offer the analysis and trend reporting for runtime and failure rates with aggregated data. And it is integrated with exception monitoring so that you can navigate from a job execution to the related exceptions directly. The job and automation actions like workflow are the backbone of business processes that span across several cloud and on-premise products from SAP. So for business continuity, you need to ensure that all the automations are running successful, which means that they are run on time or within the expected recurrence pattern, that they finish successfully, that they process the application data without errors and warnings, and that they do not worsen in terms of the runtime. This all together is a big challenge for an uh, administrator on the customer side to understand the job execution status in such a distributed heterogeneous landscape where you have a combination of on-premise systems as well as cloud services. The purpose of job and automation monitoring is to provide transparency on the execution status, application status, start delay, and runtime of automation processes within the aim of offering these four core operational aspects for all kinds of automation processes that run on different platforms with a unified user experience using a common look and feel and handling pattern. So with this, we are clearly addressing the challenge that I just have named on the slide before. The monitoring is based on data collected from the system that is executing the job and the job and automation monitoring application visualizes the status of the monitored job across system and alerts with configurable thresholds to further trigger alerts out of it that can be handled in the alert management application of SAP Focus Run. The general concept for job and automation monitoring is that the jobs and workflows are executed in the managed cloud services and on-premise systems. The individual executions are captured, this means the start time, the end time, and the status information by the local execution infrastructures. The execution data is then collected by SAP Focused Run and the individual execution data is assembled and correlated with definition data on Focused Run itself. From the feature perspective of job and automation monitoring, you can monitor ABAP jobs for their status, their duration, the start delay, the job, like, job log messages, and if the job is running at all. You can also monitor scheduled ABAP standard basis jobs out of the box, and we have the integration to the alert management of Focus Run, so you can define thresholds. Further features are you can monitor many jobs with the same group settings or with the job name pattern. You can monitor same jobs in different systems using monitoring templates. And you can get alerted only if jobs with the job persists. Uh, if the issue with the job persists, this means you can select the best of last n executions, for example, as a criteria for your alerting. And you can also get alerted if a job is running that should not run. Well, kind of negative report, um, alerting here. Further aspects from the usage point of view. Again, you start also in this application with an overview screen 
that provides information on the job and automation status for the systems that you have selected during the scope selection. You can drill down into the list of jobs that shows exceptions or runtime issues by simply clicking on the number. And you can also drill down into the list of the alert situations as you find them represented in the overview screen on the right side of the page. In the monitoring page, we provide you with the information on job and automation uh, situation per system. Here again, you can drill down by simply clicking on a certain uh, system so that you find then the list of jobs that are executed on the selected system. For every job, um, we provide you a rating that is based on the last execution. And this rating gives you information regarding the execution status, the application status, the start delay, or if the job has been um, run with a, with a delay, and the runtime, the execution time of the job. To understand uh, previously executions of a failing job, you can um, drill down by first selecting the job where you want to see the previous behavior, clicking on it, and this guides you to a detailed page where you can see the previous executions. So you can see at which point in time the previous executions has been started, um, what was the end time, what was the execution status, and all the metrics that have been collected during these executions. You can then, in the detail screen, for each of the um, times that a certain job has been executed, you find on the beginning of the line an information icon. You can also click on that, and this guides you to the execution details. This comes up in a pop-up, where you find the run data, you find the collected metric information on detailed level, and you find here also the run ID, which is a link. And on this, you can click, and it would then further navigate you to the local available monitoring functionality, the report on the system where the job has been executed. And this you can use then to do further analysis and to use all the detailed information that you are used to have and which are provided by the system that has been executed the job itself. It is also possible to, further, uh, to get further information regarding uh, exceptions that have been happening during a job execution. For this, you find, um, for example, the application uh, status uh, column in the monitoring page and the uh, icon that there are application um, uh, errors indicates that you can click on it. And this navigates you further to the exception management where you can use then the application in the normal way. So you can select the exceptions for which you want to see more details and then the details are presented and you can navigate over the provided tabs to come, for example, then to the payload information and check the detailed error message direct there without navigating to any further application. You get alerted on failing job executions. So this alerting is offered for the execution status, for the application status, for the start delay, for the runtime, and for the missing execution of a mandatory job. In the monitoring view, you can see there are open alerts, if there are open alerts for the systems or jobs. And you can also see in the alerting view um, that you can filter for a specific job name. So it's pointing at your interest or scoping your interest to the jobs that are suspicious. And from the alert, you can forward navigate into the managed system like you are used to do from the monitoring application. We also have an analyze exception page. So uh, there it's possible to see then information regarding the distribution of the exceptions by their categories for ABAP aborted jobs as well as for ABAP application log and the distribution over time for this exception so that you see also a historical behavior. There is also a page for analyzing runtime failures available. And here you get analytical information regarding the number of executions, the execution status, and the runtime per job name. And in this table, you can also find 
uh, which job or automation task uh, took the most executions or have been executed the most, uh, had the most failures, um, has the highest overall runtime or the highest, highest average runtime. So statistical information that helps you also to evaluate the behavior of the job executions and the execution of automation tasks in the entire system landscape in one central place. You can also drill down deeper there and then you uh, get an analysis page that presents your data in a graphical format to make it easy to identify trends. Therefore, we provide these graphics uh, for the total number of executions, for the executions by execution status rating. The total number of executions with red execution status is represented in a dedicated graphical view and the total runtime of executions as well as the average runtime of executions. With this, I would like to show you the functionality live on the demo system. Okay, I'm connected to the SAP Focused Run demo system and I have already the launchpad open. And we are now in the group application and system monitoring. And here we find the job and automation monitoring application. And it's opening the home screen. So the overview screen of the job and automation monitoring application. Here you find on the top again the rating and information over all the selected systems according to the execution status, to the application status, the start delay evaluation as well as the runtime evaluation over all job executions and execution of automation tasks. Below then the card-based view that shows you more detail. So this is also predefined and there you find the latest rating over all the jobs according to execution status, application status, and so on. You find the latest rating over the standard jobs, again, execution status, application status, and so on. And then the jobs with open alerts over all the jobs with the critical execution status, with critical application status, critical delay, and crit critical runtime. And below then the jobs with open alerts over the standard jobs with the same criteria for the alerts. And the uh, last tile that is displayed here is displaying the missing execution of mandatory jobs. So how many open alerts you have for this mandatory jobs. You can click for further navigation on each of this number. That's this presented numbers. Or you can again navigate via the detailed navigation on the left side. This is what I would like to do now. So I'm going now to the monitoring page. And here I would like to switch to the systems view. And now you see a summarization in one single table over the systems, their context, the system type, the total amount of executions, the job type, the execution status rating, the application status rating, the start delay rating, the runtime rating, and you find also a link to the open alerts in case that an alert has been triggered for one of the categories. For further analy analysis, I would like to go now to a specific system, and I can simply click on the system name. And it opens me now a table where I can see all the jobs that has been executed for this particular system over the selected time frame. There again, I get presented the job name, I get the job type, and the matrix with their corresponding evaluation. So starting with the execution status, application status, start delay, and the runtime. Again, I see also the system that I have selected, the context of the system, and the open alerts. From here now, I could take um, a job. I will take the one that I can identify, which has here a yellow uh, or a warning for the runtime. So a certain uh, degradation of the runtime was measured. I can click on this job. And then I see the history execution of this job. Idea here is to find out, according to the timestamp, um, if there is a certain pattern, if this behavior is constant occurring, 
maybe there is a threshold setting then too close to the actual uh, execution time. But here you see this is really differing quite a lot. So you have executions of this job uh, which runs quite fast, no? two seconds, five seconds, four seconds. And from time to time it runs with a quite uh, longer execution time. So the rating is absolutely valid and worth it to check farther. Therefore, you can use this information icon that is in the this is displayed in the first column of the table. And by clicking in this information icon, a pop-up opens that shows you then more detailed run data. So like the name, the uh, plan start time, the start time it, as it was measured, as well as the measured end time, um, who did uh, the scheduling, what was the execution system. And important here is this run ID. And this run ID you can see as a value is a link. And if you click on this link, then the system forwards you to the system where the job has been executed itself with the job overview. And here you can work now with the functionality that is provided by this local system. So for example, you can give the scope to this job name that is in scope and check the job log information. And then you see all the details as it is collected during the execution of this job on this particular underlying system. You can also go to further information. So um, this is now the task of the expert who is analyzing this job. And he is uh, usually familiar with this local available reports and transactions to do the further analysis in a way that this um, leads to the conclusion what is the root cause behind. Now let me switch the screen. So after closing this um, window on the that was showing the information on the local system, I'm back now on the focus run system. And um, beside explaining to you the run ID link and how it works that you can find in the run data section, you can also get further detailed information if you click on recurrence. So you see that this job is scheduled uh, to be executed every one week. And you get also information about the uh, metric collections, what was the value uh, according to execution status, application status, and so on. So as you have seen already also in the table view. You can close this pop-up. And now we can go to the next step of the analysis and of the navigation by clicking on the uh, navigation to the executions. And here you see the executable that has been um, executed during the job execution. So the report that was uh, executed, you can see um, by who this was executed, uh, the start time, the end time, the execution status. There was no further information or no information written into the application status, so in the application log. That's why the status has been uh, grayed out. And you see also the actual measured runtime here. Okay, from here you can uh, navigate to the exceptions pane. And you find now the information about the exceptions starting on the top left side. You see the distribution in percentage over exceptions from the above uh, boarded. Uh, jobs as well as for the ABAP application log. Besides that, you find the evolution over the last seven days for the exceptions. So also to identify patterns, to identify if the uh, behavior is normal or you find some suspicious behavior. And below you find the number of exceptions per category. So for the amount of exceptions ABAP uh, border jobs, they are represented here in this uh, blue bar. And the ABAP application log, you see also we have here quite a lot, but much less than the aborted jobs. And you can click on this graphic. And this gives you further details according to the exception cate category that you have selected. Here in this case, this is the ABAP application log. So you find uh, the evolution over the last 24 hours, last seven days, last 30 days. And then you have access to each of this application log message in the table. and if you select one of these messages, then you get all the details um, regarding the timestamp, the category, the subcategory, the user, the product um, system, the system type, the client, 
and so on. And below then the collection context, so um, that you should identify what was the reason for this uh, message and what was the um, message telling you, as well as you can get access to the complete payload by clicking on it. And also here then you can scroll down and you see all the payload information in this XML structure. You can download this information for further analysis by using this functionality that is here provided. And yes, so come to a conclusion on the exception status. And I would like to navigate to the analysis page now. In the analysis page, um, you see per job name, the system on which one is it executed, the context of the system, um, it is was a job or automation type, and then you see the statistical information. So the total executions of the job, you see the red execution or the red rated executions uh, as a counter, as well as on a percentage rate. And also for the runtime, we show you the total runtime of the job execution, as well as the average runtime of the uh, job execution. So statistical information that you can use for your reporting. And I can also show you how to navigate to the trend analysis and simply clicking on the right side to the icon. And this opens the last page that is also available via the detailed navigation on the left side. And here we present you now for this selected um, system, for the selected job or automation task that you find here on the top. Then the graphics for the total number of executions that had been started, the executions by execution status rating information, the total number of executions with red execution status, the total runtime of executions that had been running, and the average runtime of the executions that had finished. All this, of course, to analyze a trend, to analyze if a certain um, suspicious situation is a one-time occurrence or to identify uh, that there is a pattern that this has been built up over the last hours, over the last executions uh, that has happened in the history. With this, I would like to end the demo and go back to the PowerPoint slides. By coming back to the slides, I would like to summarize the application benefits. So with the job and automation monitoring application, it is possible to monitor job and automation tasks cross systems. You can see the current status, the duration, the delay, and the availability of the jobs and automation tasks. You can notify stakeholders in case of a problems because you can define thresholds and then trigger alerts. And it is the starting point for the evaluation of a critical situation that you can easily identify. From the configuration point of view, it's a relatively low effort for a design set of jobs because we offer the option to group based on configuration or using a grouping mechanism. You can also select for monitoring from a list of scheduled jobs and uh, to make use of job monitoring templates in order to monitor same jobs in many systems identically. So mass maintenance is provided. The key learnings, so you should know the job and automation monitoring helps to monitor the performance and availability of your automation processes. You should have a good understanding of the basic engineering concept of job and automation monitoring. And this means also that you should know how to use the application and how to use the analysis section in the job and automation monitoring uh, to provide you with the statistical information. Further readings can be found again in the export portal here in the job and automation section. There you find all the detailed information, also including then detailed step-by-step -step instruction, how to set up and how to do the configuration. With this, I would like to say thank you, and I hope to see you in the next unit.